Hello everyone, this is Actual Byte, and today we'll cover how to install FreeShop, how to configure it, how to install games, and at the end we'll cover how to uninstall games just to make sure that we keep our place nice and clean and that we have space for future games. Alright, so for this process you will need to have some sort of a custom firmware installed. Now, in our case we have Emunand, but you can have A9LH or basically Luma 3DS or RX tools or anything that can run CIA files. If you don't have custom firmware, you can check my other videos where I install Emunand with Luma 3DS or if you feel, or you can check my A9LH video installation guide. I'll leave the links either in the video or in the video description below so you can check them out. Now, what you wanna do here is go ahead and power up the console. Now this step isn't really necessary, but it's just gonna get everything moving nice and smoothly. So take out the SD card and put it inside your computer. Because we'll need to download a file and we'll need to install it on the 3DS. So once you have that, you can go to my website extranullbyte.com and you can follow the written guide as well as this video guide. So go ahead and click on the free shop link here that I have provided for you. So go ahead and click it. You can also go to freeshop.pw if you don't want to go through my website. Now once you're there, go ahead and download the latest CIA. So once you click on that button, save it to your SD card. Now it doesn't matter where you save it on your SD card, as long as it's somewhere on your SD card, but you will have to remember the location where you saved it. What I like to do is, I like to create a folder just for CIA files. So I'll call it CIA like that. And inside it, I will save this freeshop latest.cia. Now once that's done, that's basically it. We're done with the SD card. So you can go ahead and put it back inside the 3DS. Now, if you have Emunand installed, what you wanna do is hold the left shoulder button down while powering on, on the console. If you have A9LH installed, you can just go ahead and power on the console, no problem. So I will hold the, the left shoulder button and I'll power on the console. This is gonna boot into the boot manager. So once inside the boot manager, you wanna go to Luma 3DS. Now this is our custom firmware. All right, as you'll notice, our background changed to black, so that indicates we are in our Emunand. Okay, so at this point, what we wanna do is go to health and safety app, which is our FBI installer. Go ahead and open it. Okay, so now it's time to navigate to our SD card. So go ahead and choose SD card. Go down and find your CIA file or folder where you downloaded a CIA file. As you remember, I created a folder called CIA, so I'm gonna go inside it, and inside that folder there is a file called FreeShop. I'll go ahead and install that as well. You can either choose install CIA or install and delete CIA. I would like to just install it as I like to keep backups of all the CIAs I download. Go ahead and press A on that, and this process will install the CIA. If you get any problems in this section here, let me know and I'll guide you through the process on how to fix it, as it is not really important for this tutorial and it doesn't happen very often. There's plenty of other guides that cover all the errors um, FBI related, but I wanna keep this video as short as possible, so I won't go into that. But again, if you do get an error, just let me know. So once that's done, go ahead and press B a couple of times, and once you see here where it says press start to exit, go ahead, press start. You'll get this thing here that says new software has been added. This is our free shop. So go ahead and unpack it. And you can go ahead and open it. This will require you to have Wi-Fi enabled. So this is gonna take a couple of minutes or even a couple of seconds to fully update as well. So once you get this, thing here you're gonna see it says no title keys found now that's all right what you want to do is go and, and click on this little cog icon on the bottom screen once you have that go to the updates and in there you want to select the first checkbox that says auto update key files from URL make sure that's checked and then click on the little QR code icon in this side of the screen that's gonna start your camera right there. And what you wanna do is scan the QR code that's gonna be either in the video or on my website. So I'll go ahead and scan the QR code. 
and there it is. Once it's scanned, it's gonna populate this field with a URL that says 3ds.titlekeys.com slash download ENC. Once you have that, go ahead and also check the second checkmark button here that says auto update um, free shop. So once you have that, go ahead and hit the refresh cache button. Now this is gonna go and fetch the latest games from the Nintendo eShop. So now what, once this is done, you're gonna see the list of games in this section here, but you'll notice something strange. You're gonna see a list of games. The games are all from different regions. Now, for some that's, that's good or whatever, but what you wanna do is you can filter all of these games. So if you go ahead and click on the options again, you're gonna see a list of filters. You can filter the games based on regions. So for example, if I want the games from USA and Europe only, I can check the USA and Europe and the games will reflect that change right there. Now, it's up to you what you want to keep, but uh, that's one way of filtering your games. There's more filters here, like if you want to play action games and all of that stuff. RPG, adventure games, all of them are here. Okay, now that you have that done, we can go ahead and search for some games to install. I'll go ahead and search for Pokemon. And I'm gonna download the classic Pokemon Red. Yes, I'm old school like that. As you can see here, this is Pokemon Red. I mean, why not? Okay, here you're gonna see all of these options here. You can see the preview of games, but what you're really interested is in this little button here, the li little download button. So go ahead and tap it. Now my battery is gonna die on the camera, so hopefully I'll finish this before the battery runs out. To see the list of games you're downloading, you can hit this little download button here and you can see the progress of the game. My one just finished downloading, so I can go ahead and I can go ahead and go back to my home screen as you can see a game has been added to my home screen so I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this game and you'll see it's the one we downloaded Pokemon Red version as you can see here it's gonna start up just like any other game Now you can download any game that you want and it's gonna work basically the same exact way. And there we go. Since this is a Nintendo uh, Game Boy game, the bottom screen is just for options and the top screen is basically um, where the game is being played. I used to spend countless hours on this game on my old Game Boy. Alright, so that's enough of that. Now let's say you're done with the game and you want to delete it. Now there's probably multiple ways to delete games. One is by going to settings and applications. And the other one is through the uh, free shop. And if you go to the list of games, which is this little controller icon or whatever you want to call it, you'll see the list of available applications that can be either updated or uninstalled. I'm gonna choose Pokemon Red version and then there is this little trash icon or a bin icon that you can click. So once you do that, you're gonna see here, it says you're about to delete the game, do you want to? Go ahead and click, okay. Is it gonna let me click it? Yeah. So now that game has been deleted from memory and we got our nine megabytes back. We can install any game that we want from this point on. Now there is so many games here gonna be busy for years to come. There's old games, new games, GBA games, probably even some um, NES games or SNES games. Now that's it. This has been the installation of Free Shop and all of the little settings. So this has been Action Byte and hope to see you again in the next video. Cheers.